crap. We're going to put a pivot point here. We're going to know where this mark is here. We're going to pivot here and we're going to put a pivot point here. The only reason we put the pivot point here is so we know where to start tracing. We're going to start tracing here and we're going to trace all the way around to our hip pivot. Okay. Start tracing here. Come down here. Come all the way up here. Make sure I know where my crotch curve is going to be, where my hip curve is going to be. I'm going to trace across the top. Crease down the center front, and I'm going to stop at hip line. I know that I am shortening this crotch curve by a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to use my ruler and I'm going to measure in on that crotch line a quarter of an inch, but I'm going to make that mark up here in a stationary point in my paper so that I can see it. I am going to hold my pencil on the pivot point on the thigh. I'm going to pivot my pattern piece until this dot on the crotch intersection lines up in line with this. It's not going to touch this mark, but it's going to be in a line, a straight line this way. So just like this. Does that make sense? Do you need to see that again? This is where it was originally. I want this dot to be in line with this. So I'm going to pivot just like this. Now this is in line and I'm going to finish tracing up here to this mark that I made halfway between crotch line and hip line. Once I'm there, I'm going to pivot back to original position and draw the crotch line from hip line down to that mark halfway between. And I'm going to remove my paper. As you can see, my two crotch lines are not intersecting. So I need to redraw that crotch curve and I need to go from point all the way to point. Okay, so I'm just, this is when I would use a design curve. Does that make sense? Okay, now these are just my exterior seam lines. So now I need to put my darts, my dart circles, my crotch line, my hip line, my longitudinal line. All of that stuff needs to be put in at this point.